morning, you guys. It's disgusting out today. Disgusting. I did not curl my hair for the first time. I would not have if I, like if this, if I would have washed my hair last night like I usually do, yesterday was Wednesday, I would have definitely straightened it or not done anything to it, but I decided not to wash my hair last night because we're, we're actually looking pretty good. So, um, still pregnant. Still very pregnant, 38 weeks tomorrow. He's been moving, but I can tell it's like starting to really slow down in the sense of like just the dramatics of his, he just doesn't have space. And it makes me so sad. Um, so I'm about to do his kick count after I eat some breakfast. Today we have a doctor's appointment. Lots of things to do. I'm trying to time block again because it made me so efficient the other day until the cereal kicked my butt. I have to edit my Sephora video today. It has to get done. It is like 57 minutes of raw footage and I cannot sit and make myself focus on that for a long time. So I put the time blocking in and I was like, you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. Um, but I have to go to the doctor today and that's like the most exciting thing. Juju, why are you on to cover? You're bad. Look at him. Why are you all the way up there? Dash your blanket. That's where you're supposed to lay. Yeah. Oh yeah, you think you look cute and stretch out? It is almost nine o'clock. Okay, it's not, it's eight. But like, why are you, why is there no necklace on you? You're not going outside today. You don't want to go outside in the gross weather. Y'all have to excuse my mom, dog mom voice. So I was thinking this morning, you know how in Friends, Phoebe's like about to go do her little transfer for her brother so she can be his, uh, technically they said surrogate the whole show, but now I know enough to know that she was his gestational carrier. But anyway, how she's like, all right guys, I'm gonna go to the doctor, think thick. That's how I feel today. I'm like, okay, I'm going to the doctor, think dilated, <laughs> think effaced, and I have no control over it, but we're gonna, we're gonna think dilated. We're gonna be optimistic. Last night I shared on Instagram and you guys are just like the best. Anytime I share anything about mom, motherhood, pregnancy, I get two kinds of responses. Overwhelmingly positive responses and then a couple really nasty ones. Okay, sorry, camera battery died. Um, and the, the nasty ones can really range from like mild to very hateful. Um, I'll get responses like, I owe people an explanation because I live my life on the internet. Last night, I got a couple messages because I've just been struggling so much towards the end of this pregnancy. Like, it's just so, so hard. And the mental game is rough, and I'm in pain all the time. And I just shared that yesterday. And I want that's one of the things I said on Instagram is like, pregnancy's hard, I'm not okay, and that's okay. Like, it's okay to not always be okay. And this girl sent me the nastiest message about, well, I got a couple, but it was one girl in particular particular just this nasty message about how she just couldn't handle my complaining and I only needed to share the good things. No, that is not true. And it, it's one of those things like the same person who says you should only share the good would then attack you and say that you're being unrealistic if you're only sharing the good. And it made me kind of sad for a minute, but at the same time I knew that was her, you know, she's projecting something's going on with her that she just wanted to take out on me. That's totally fine. But then I opened up like 25 DMs from you guys that were just so overwhelmingly nice. And so many of you were like, this made me not feel like I was alone. Like I've been thinking I was alone in not enjoying the end of my pregnancy or that pregnancy's hard and you were just so thankful. And it actually made me feel less alone because sometimes I feel like I'm by myself in this. Like I don't currently have any friends that are 38 weeks pregnant. My One of my girlfriends, she's, she's struggled her whole pregnancy. Um, she's had a lot harder of a pregnancy than I have. Um, and she's 20, so she'll be 22 weeks tomorrow. And so it's like she struggles, but in a different way. And so it just, it made me feel so much better to hear so many of you guys be like, thank you for saying this. And I was like, okay, I'm validated in my one frustration and two, that it's okay to have bad days and share that with people. Like you're, you don't always have to put on a good, perfect smiley front. And anyone who tells you otherwise is toxic, truthfully. So I hope you guys take a little tidbit from this. If you don't follow me on Instagram or you didn't see the message, it's okay to not be okay. What, what my pastor used to say, it's okay to not be okay. It's not okay to stay that way. But pregnancy, of course, is a, it's very different. But it's okay if you have bad days. It's okay if you share that with other people. It, we as humans are fixers naturally. We try to fix things and make them better. But you do have those people who feel like you should just put up and shut up. And you don't have to. You just don't have to. And I want you to know that, babe. You're doing great. Um, look at this ham. Look at this ham. 
so <laughs> I gotta go make breakfast but I wanted to share that quick little message with you guys just in case you don't see it on insta that it's okay to not be okay um all right goal for today get my phone I ordered the new iPhone and it's supposed to be in by 12 because I have to sign for it I hope it comes in by 12 it's gonna make me really nervous to leave if I have a not signed for that package, right, Saley? And then I have to go to the chiropractor, regular doctor, but I gotta focus, I gotta quit procrastinating. All right, I gotta head out, but got my new iPhone. Case um, is on its way. This thing is a monster, let me show you. Hold on. So this is the size of my old phone. Like 11, I think this was just the iPhone 11 Pro and then this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So um, I'm gonna put this on the new case that's being delivered today. But I wanted to show you guys today's outfit. I don't really have time um, to package up the phone today, but I need to go use some Starbucks like points tomorrow. And so I'm gonna go use that as an excuse tomorrow to go to Starbucks and I'll run by the UPS store and drop the phone off. Um, okay, so today's look, feeling so good. So I wanted to wear heels. I have on my old cash um, tee from Urban Outfitters. Don't know why I could not say cash t-shirt. Obviously for old Johnny Cash. Um, and then I've got maternity jeans and my favorite Mark Fisher booties because it is finally beautiful here. The weather the past couple days has been back and forth so much. Like you will literally wake up, it'll be disgusting, the sky will be dark, it'll be cold and rainy, and by the afternoon it's like bright, beautiful, sunny, everything. So I'm gonna grab a snack. Um, yeah, and then I gotta get going because it's time. I'm gonna go to the chiropractor, go to the regular doctor, or I guess the OB, which is the regular doctor for me at this point. See where we're at. All right. To fix my shoe, I literally have a freaking hole in my socks and it's like coming over my toe and I'm losing circulation in my toe. <sighs> not bad, but definitely not what I wanted. Let me call my mama. I'm gonna warn y'all the country accent's about to come out. Cause that's how when it comes out is when I talk to my mama. Hey. Hey. Good night. 75% effaced, and she said a loose one. Oh, good. I guess. Don't you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I got what she meant now by the whole, um, he's in front of the cervix. When they run out of room, she said they tend to lean forward, like roll forward. And, and put your cervix posterior. Yeah, and she was like, you really need him on your cervix, and so she just told me to start bouncing on the bouncy ball. <laughs> But one, dilated to one is good. I mean, it is, but God. You can do it. Uh, you got this. Yeah. Who'd okay. you see? All right. Well, I'm going to go get me a milkshake because I think I deserve it. You know what? I'm going to get me a milkshake for you, too. All right. For me. For you. <laughs> I <laughs> love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. It's fine. It's not, it's not anything bad. I just definitely had hoped they were going to say it was more. Um, cause I've been, I, again, it's just like, I'll have days, I'll have cramps, um, all kinds of like contractions and all this stuff that they say is like making you dilate and I'll have it for days and then I'll go days where I have nothing and I'm just frustrated because I'm like, if my body is doing it this much, shouldn't we be somewhere more for like, shouldn't, come on. Oh well. So. I'm gonna go get myself a milkshake now because I freaking deserve it. I don't need it, but I deserve it. Okay. I just got parked. I'm having the worst. Oh, I don't know if it's just back pain or contractions because I went to the chiropractor, excuse me, and she said that my hips were like very out of line and since she fixed them, my back's been like kind of hurting, but then I went and immediately got checked after. So I think like part of it is like, just cause I got checked. Oh, they hurt so bad. Um, and it's, I think it's pretty continuous. I haven't really started to time anything. Um, but I did go to McDonald's and I did not get a milkshake. Cause I was like, I think that'll actually make my, 
uh, stomach hurt. And so I was like, why not I get fries and you guys know how when you get fries it's like always a shot in the dark like are they gonna be good or are they gonna be those gross ones they were so perfect they were everything i wanted them to be and more that's kind of what's been going on nothing absolutely nothing we will go back next thursday thank god i got a morning appointment i hate these late afternoon appointments i like to know what's going on you know asap in the morning um so 8.45 next Thursday, we will know a little bit more. But thank you guys for watching the vlog and we'll see you next time.